Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the vestibulo-ocular reflex. Uh, so starting with, what is the vestibulo-ocular reflex? It is a reflex that coordinates our eye movement with our head movement so that we can maintain focus on whatever it is that we're trying to look at. So for example, if I turn my head to the right and I'm trying to maintain focus on my computer screen while I'm talking to you, if I turn my head to the right, my eyes have to move to the left to make up for that motion so that I can maintain the image that I'm trying to keep on my retina in the correct spot. Uh, so it helps prevent retinal image slip so that we can maintain focus regardless of how we move our heads. Uh, it's a somatic reflex because the effectors are skeletal muscle. So how does this work? So I'm, I'm gonna take you through the reflex arc like we could with any type of reflex. So with any reflex, we start with a stimulus. In this case, the stimulus is the equilibrium sensory information that we're collecting from the vestibular apparatus. So the, sen the stimulus would be the movement of the head that is detected by the vestibular apparatus in the inner ear. Um, that information is then transmitted via the sensory nerve. Uh, so it's transmitted um, via the vestibulocochlear nerve. So cranial nerve number eight is the sensory nerve in this example. Um, so that sensory information is transmitted to the integrating center, which in this case is the vestibular nuclei. That's a group of four nuclei in the medulla and pons. And in this picture, it's these uh, green blobs here. Um, so with all cranial nerve nuclei, there's a left and a right. So they're all paired. So there's a group of four on each side of nuclei. Um, so lateral, uh, inferior, medial, and superior vestibular nuclei. Um, so the integration takes place there. Then we send a response via motor nerve. So in this case, because our eyeballs are moved by three different cranial nerves. The motor response in this uh, reflex arc is being carried by oculomotor, uh, which is cranial nerve number three, trochlear nerve, cranial nerve number four, and abducens, which is cranial nerve number six. So those are carrying our, um, our response, that's carrying the motor commands to the muscles that move the eyeball so that they can move opposite of the movement of the head. Um, so the effectors in that case are the extraocular eyeball muscles. So superior, inferior, medial, and lateral rectus, and superior and inferior oblique. So those are our six extraocular eyeball muscles. Uh, they are skeletal muscles, which means that this is a somatic reflex. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.